This is registered dietitian and local bozo.com's healthy New York correspondent, Leslie Goldstein. Today, I'm proud to have with me as my guest for an exclusive interview, host of the Cooking Channel's upcoming series, Drop 5 Pounds with Good Housekeeping, and Food Network personality, Melissa D. Arabian. Melissa, thanks so much for giving us a couple of minutes today. Oh, thanks so much for having me. <laughs> Melissa, your new 10-episode series premieres on Saturday, January 21st on the Cooking Channel. Can you talk a little bit about the concept behind the show and how you became involved as the show's host? Oh, yeah, absolutely. So the show is Drop Five Pounds of Good Housekeeping. And um, while the show is brand new and I'm so excited for it to premiere, it's actually based on a very popular column over at Good Housekeeping magazine called Drop Five Pounds. So the column was so successful that then it became a book. And then, mm -hmm. um, and then the book became the TV show. And so that's what's going to be airing starting on January 21st um, at 11 o'clock Eastern on Cooking Channel. And the idea behind the show is that it's not just a show of recipes. It's a lifestyle show. So um, I host it, and I do do the cooking segments, but we also have correspondents out in the field. So, for instance, we have mm -hmm. Ashley Borden, who is um, an exercise expert, and she'll come up with a creative workout that you can do anywhere. Or we'll have Artie Sequera, who is our culinary correspondent, and um, you may know her from Artie Party or from Food Network Star. And she's going out to restaurants and going to give you tips on how to order in a restaurant or, you know, what what's the best fast food to order if you, you know, if you're in a situation where you need to order fast food. So the idea is that you're going to get the strategies, some tools to go out and live your life, even if you have weight loss goals in mind. So it's not just about the food. It's really about a whole lifestyle choice. Sounds great. I always promote that myself. Now, as a dietitian, I get asked all the time about tips for people who want to indulge in the foods that they enjoy while still trying to lose weight and eat healthy. Is this something that fits into your program, or is it the overall plan that's essentially more strict? Well, you know, the, the, the thing is this. You know, Lifestyle choice is exactly that. It's something that you're doing for your life. It's not, you know, it's not a, you know, a quote unquote diet that you're going to do for a week and see miraculous changes that you're going to last forever, right? right? So it's really about having a full lifestyle that makes sense for you. You know, and I would say for me, if I completely put every, you know, something off the table, then that, you know, then that just makes me feel stressed and unsatisfied. But, right. you know, if you can make some small changes, you know, in the way you eat and in and how you exercise and how, you know, the choices you make when you're, you know, out and about, when you're at the office or when you're, um, you know, on the road, when you're traveling, if you can slightly change these, uh, some of these decisions, you're going to have a long-lasting impact. You know, small changes that you, that you do consistently are going to have a greater impact on your life than, you know, a you know, one change, you know, something that you do for one week, you know, we've all had that right. experience where we get, you know, enthused for an exercise program and it lasts a week or two weeks or three weeks. You know, that's, that's really not going to make the big difference. It's the small changes that you implement regularly that really become a lifestyle choice for you that really are going to end up showing you the big results. What superfoods, if any, do you find yourself constantly using in some of your recipes for weight loss? One of my favorite go-to's for um, for a mid-afternoon snack is a small handful of raw almonds and um, some blueberries. Like to me, that's just the right combination of texture, crunch, um, and then the freshness, the sweetness of the blueberries. Those two together make a great combination. You know, and actually, a great strategy is you know to count out. You know, about 15 raw almonds, that's about 100 calories, put it in a little baggie and, you know, take that with you, have it in your purse, have that, you know, if you're going to travel, I carry raw almonds with me all the time when I'm traveling, or if you have to go to an office, keep those with you, because you can pair those little, um, that little packet of almonds with, you know, an apple that you buy at the airport, or, you know, or they have apples and fruit on airplanes, or you're, at, you know, at the office, you can pair those two together and really come up with a satisfying snack that has protein, it's going to keep you going, has enough fat to kind of make you feel satisfied, um, and yet you're not going to be making a bad decision by going down the hallway to, say, a vending machine. Those are great ideas. 
Now, our site is based out of New York City where it's always seemingly much more easy to order food in or dine out where portions can be much more difficult to control. Can these staples of city living fit comfortably into your plan? It's a lifestyle. That's, it's really sort of an approach and sort of how we, you know, how we, how we approach and think about things. But that being said, one of the benefits of Drop 5 Pounds is that for half an hour every week, Viewers can watch the show, tune in, get some great recipe ideas, and then, of course, get the actual recipes. You know, they're all going to be online. They're all on the Cooking Channel website. So they've got some great recipes um, that they can serve their families. And, by the way, all the recipes are delicious enough um, and well-rounded enough that they're great for serving families. No one but you needs to know that you're, you know, that you're dropping five pounds. But the idea is that each week the viewers will get, you know, a tool or, a, or, or an idea or a strategy that they can put into their toolkit so that when they're faced with, you know, city living or whatever it is, you know, office living or, you know, someone who lives in rural America, you know, we all have sort of our own, um, you know, our own landscape, our own challenges. And by having a toolkit that each week gets filled with one or two or three more tools, not just the recipes of the day. It can never be about just the recipes, in my opinion. You know, $10 dinners is never about just the recipes. It's really about money-saving strategies, and then the recipes are great examples of those strategies. You know, same thing here. It's not just about the recipes. It's really about building your toolkit so that you, throughout the week, when you're faced with your individual unique situation, you've got tools in your toolkit to call upon, you know, to help you deal with, you know, whatever it is, city living or, you know, ordering, you know, right. ordering out or takeout or whatever. You know, just like one strategy for me because, you know, I, we all have our little vices and things that we just love so much. Well, what, one of my favorite things is the In-N-Out Burger. Like, I just, I, I mm. love it. I live in Southern California, and it's just something that I, you know, if I, if I, could eat them every week, I would do it. I don't. But, you know, my strategy is I go in, I buy the In-N-Out burger. Before I even get involved in tasting it or anything, I cut it in half, and I give half to mm-hmm. my husband, and then I know that I'm free just to enjoy it, not have to worry about, well, no, one more bite, one less bite. Like, that's my own little strategy. It's my own little, little, little tip that works for me. And I think that we all need to have those kinds of strategies to deal with what we know are our particular challenges. And, you know, the In-N-Out Burger for me, that's, that's something that I just love and it calls my name. So, you know what, I have my strategy. But that's the idea, is every week getting one more tool, one more thing you say, oh, aha, you know, I've been in that situation before. Um, now I know how to deal with it. So the next time you're in that situation, you're like, oh, okay, I'll give that a try. Um, so that's the idea. It's really about those small changes that you implement and that you do over and over and over again. You mentioned young children. Do you have any advice for parents with picky eaters who are trying to prepare healthier options? So, you know, one, in terms of drop five pounds, um, all the food that, that, that we make is all family-friendly food that, you know, that you can serve people who are not on drop five pounds. You know, we've got, you know, a, um, a revised brownie um, recipe that my kids love. There's a chocolate chip cookie recipe that my kids love that I, you know, I made for me, but then I also took to, you know, the part for my kids' play dates. So all of the food that you'll see on Drop 5 Pounds works for families. Now, if you're asking me about picky kids and what strategies are there, um, you know, I'll tell you, my personal strategy with my picky kids is I make sure that there's one thing on the table that I know that they like that's healthy, you know, and, and, mm-hmm. and, then, and then I don't worry about it, you know, that's, that's, that's how I do. Well, I also have four. So in all fairness, I certainly cannot do this catering to four different, um, you know, picky palates. Um, but that's how I that's how I do it. You know what? I treat my kids and their picky palates. You know, because that's the age. You know, they, they, there there are there are studies that show that their their palate is different and that their taste buds are very sensitive. So I try to respect that um, while not indulging it. And I treat their picky palate much like I would treat a vegetarian in, in my home. Even if I'm not a vegetarian, I will always have something for them to eat because I think that's just that's just good manners. So same thing with my with my kids, right? Um, you know, I always have something that I know that they can that they can enjoy on the table, and um, you know, and then I also try not to introduce too many new foods to them at one time. So like for this, for example, this week I dropped five pounds. Um, I've got an apple curry um, chicken dish 
which is fantastic. It's delicious, and actually, it's very mm-hmm. kid friendly because of the sweetness of the apples. But because you know that's a brand new dish for them, that would not be the mm-hmm. time for me to you know introduce you know some other you know you know I'm making it up, but you know sautéed okra if they've never had it before. You know, that right. would be a great time for me to, you know, put on quinoa on the table, which I know that they know and love. And so, you know, they can taste something else but not feel like they're completely being overlooked. I find that if I give my kids permission to taste everything and I serve food that is appropriate for all, for my whole family, um, you know, it's amazing what the kids will actually pick up a fork and try if they don't feel forced to do it. And, you know, that's what, what works at my house. With the big game approaching early next month, will you be featuring any recipes or ideas for healthier eating around watching football? There are absolutely some great game day ideas, um, and by hosting the party or bringing something to someone else's party, you're having a little bit of control over what it is that you're going to eat and what, what's being provided. One recipe that I absolutely love that we do on Drop 5 Pounds, which is a great tip, is um, we make the guacamole using white beans to stretch out the avocado. So you've got, you know, this great. great, rich, delicious, silky avocado, um, which is full of really healthy fats. But let's keep in mind, you know, healthy fats have calories too. So while you want to include them in your diet, you don't want to go overboard. And it's very easy, at least for me, to go overboard with guacamole. But mm. by blending in a can of white beans, um, you know, you blend them until they're nice and smooth, and then you, you incorporate that into the guacamole. You are stretching out that higher fat item with something that's low fat, low calorie, high fiber, high protein, and absolutely delicious. It's creamy. It satisfies just like you know any any other guacamole would, but it's going to fill you up a lot more because you've got all that protein and fiber. So, um, so that's. One that sneak peek to a great game day recipe. Yum, sounds good. Now your series seems to touch on everything from fitness to dieting, along with minor lifestyle changes to help people achieve some short-term wins, which I think is great. What part of the upcoming series are you most proud of, and what do you hope that the viewers at home will take away from your show? The the show really is a true lifestyle show, and you know, and with good housekeeping you know behind it, we've got the um, the nutritionist from Good Housekeeping, Samantha Cassidy, who really talks about you know like what your plate should look like, and it's a very visual show, um, in that we really show you what you need to do so you can remember it. I think what I'm most proud of is um, you know how it really focuses on the small changes. This is all doable stuff. And it's all good for you, and it's it's you know, it's obviously healthy, and it's going to help you you know obtain your goals or attain your goals. But you know, it's really small and doable. It is manageable. It's not this overwhelming sense of oh you know oh, I've got to lose you know you know twenty pounds. Even if you have to lose twenty pounds, start with the first five. Just start by watching the show and seeing if week in and week out you don't have some tools that help you along the way i really believe that they will they'll just sort of infiltrate into people's minds and into their you know into their back pocket to pull out whenever they need them so i i I love this approach of small changes and big results well i love your spirit is there anything else you'd like to leave for the readers of localbozo.com yeah, I think that this is such a great extension of the monthly column over at Good Housekeeping, and I've been a fan of that magazine, but also of that column. I love that the column has, you know, the the up to the minute, but not the fads, um, but up to the minute information about losing weight and about meeting our dietary and our you know our health goals and our weight loss goals. And I think that this this program, you know, Top Five Pounds, really makes sense, you know, for anybody who's interested in just eating healthier or having some more healthy lifestyle tips. So it's really not about, you know, oh, I just want to lose, you know, a few pounds. It's really about celebrating who we are and treating ourselves well, um, you know, by eating healthy, by taking care of ourselves. It's really a celebration of self. And I I, I like that approach so much more than, you know, having a – you know, we can so easily get in, get down on, you know, oh, I you know, feel like my thighs are fat or whatever. And we can get into negativity very easily, you know, about our bodies um, very easily. And I love that Drop 5 Pounds is really a, a celebration of, of health 
good food. You know, there's going to be really some tasty recipes and some great ideas and, you know, and stuff that's, you know, it's, some of it's common sense that's packaged in a way that you'll remember it, and some of it is like, huh, I hadn't thought of that before. And I love the mix. It's, I think it's going to be a really fun show. Well, thank you. Make sure to tune in to the Cooking Channel on Saturday, January 21st at 11 a.m. as Melissa D. Arabian hosts the premiere episode of Drop 5 Pounds with Good Housekeeping and start the year off right with Melissa's fitness and nutrition tips, recipes, shopping tips, and so much more. Melissa, thanks so much for a couple of minutes today on localbozo.com, and best of luck with the new series. Oh, thank you so much for having me.